Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I'm doing a much requested art journal page. Now I did a mixed media art journal page uh, in two parts last week and um, I got a great, great response on it. But a few of you had written me and um, did not like the way it came out. So um, it was too much. It was too much that you, you wanted it to be between the beginners and the intermediate. Um, and I made it intermediate between intermediate and I guess expert is the word. I don't know what word. Um, so you wanted it to be, you know, scaled back a little bit and I can get that. So let me talk about a few things before we get started. I'm going to make this a, a more, a more in between beginner and intermediate. And what you can do is what I'm going to use rather is one of these pictures. Now you can get these pictures at uh, graphics fairy. They give a uh, free, um, uh, what words do I want to say? I don't want to say pictures, free images, free clip art, free images, um, for you to download. They also sell some. I love this site. Uh, and these are, this is what I picked and I picked two sizes to use. These are absolutely free. You can go download them and print it out on your computer. Or if you don't have a printer, you can, and this is inkjet. So this isn't anything fancy. This isn't, um, laser, but you can also put it on a thumb, drive, you know, USB and take it to your local office store and they'll print it for like a buck or whatever. And you can get like a whole page of it. You don't just have to get one. So this is where we're starting. If you do not have a picture from a magazine, one of these, a book, anything, um, you definitely can draw one, but I'm going to do this for more of a, um, I guess an easier kind of way. You know, I got my Oprah, uh, magazine. You can rip out a million pictures. You can paint over it. I will post a link at the end of the video showing you one of my videos where I paint over a magazine. So we're good. We're good. We're good. So these are what I'm going to use. Something else I want to show you. This is just my normal, um, Faber-Castell book. Uh, if you've been with me, you know, I just use this as my art journal. I really need to do a uh, cover because I'm been gluing together, but you could see I did this one. There's a video for this on my channel. This is for beginners with just a stencil. This is for beginners with uh, no stencil, just some grungy background and some different circles and different colors, as you can see, which is absolutely gorgeous. Can be on its own or could be uh, a background. We have this one where it, this is a stamp of a face. If you can't or don't choose to draw a face. You can just use a face stamp and kind of embellish her, you know, the way you want to. This is a background I did. Uh, videos for all of these are up on my channel, um, which I just, just love, love, love. That is just where I put extra paint. I did this. This is a very easy abstract painting um, where all I did was did a background. And then this is texture paste. I used the uh, folk art texture paint in snow uh, and colored it with some turquoise and look how pretty. I love the way this looks. Uh, you could cut this out and use this as a, which I might do for the cover of this actually, is cut this out and use it as part of my cover. I don't know yet, but see, I'm digging this, but I've already ripped it. So, I don't know. so anyway, very nice. You can hear it all the texture. And this is just, you can see they have gorgeous pictures in this catalog. These are just, this is a, the mixed media one I did where I just took out some words. This is the background. This is what I did uh, on here with some tissue paper and um, to the, the background's too busy for some of you. So we're going to change that today. And I just glued it on, you know, I just did it on there. And then here we are with the gessoed page. I don't think I have any other ones in here. You never know with me. I jump. I'm a jumper. Look at that picture of the cow. Who wouldn't like that? I think I'm, and then I just have like a, you know, where I put extra paint so I can just go to town. Number one. Number two, I want to talk to you about very quickly. And I'm going to use this on the journal page. Do you see this heart? I'm going to cut this heart out. Excuse my arm. This is why I have no scissors left for sewing. I use it. I'm going to cut this heart out. and then let you see it a little better. Okay. Can you see the heart? What I did 
was I took Mod Podge Mat. Of course, you use whatever you have. You can use these for many, many things. I'll just leave them there. I took some Mod Podge Mat and I took paper toweling, or you could use your toilet paper. And all I did was, let me just show you. Here's some toilet paper. <laughs> I mean, some paper towel. I stuck it in the water. I saturated it. You could leave it sitting there for a minute or whatever. I don't have a minute. And I took it out. And I did a video on this. However, my computer ate it for some reason, and I have no idea why. So all you do then, you know, you want it saturated is you pull it into little pieces. Now, if you have an extra food processor or blender, you can do this in there and we can make our own paper and do all kinds of stuff. Let me know down below if you want me to do a demo on making our own paper. I love making paper and putting stuff in it. Okay. Anyway, and nowadays, you know, with the summer and spring and all that, you got the flowers, you can dry those and herbs and all oh, the fun. Okay. So you see how we just have it kind of torn up. Just keep pulling it apart. You know till you get into some pieces and then you're going to take a water bottle douse it again you'll put it on your paper get it out of your nail because you know and what i like to do is just roll it and this is for the heart i mean obviously you could just put this down as texture and you'll do more or less might need wet a little longer and you will form it into the shape you want so let's just say Come on now, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Might be a little too thick right now, but I'm in a hurry. Not in a hurry, but I don't, you know. There we go. So you see, I'm just kind of forming it into little roly-poly uh, worms. Kind of like we're working with clay. And yes, you can use clay if you want to. It's up to you. I've used uh, paper clay to make uh, modeling paste, so that's a thought too. And that's, you know, really fun and cool. But a lot of people don't have that, so I am just kind of playing. Okay, so you see we got our heart. Obviously, you'll take an extra minute. So this one's curved the other way. Why I'm trying to shove it in there the wrong way. Okay. You see what I'm saying? You get kind of a heart. You, you got to play a little bit longer, um, but you get this. And I'm not going to sit and bore you. It's very easy. If you want another video on it, let me know. But like I said, uh, it just takes a minute and I don't have that right now. Okay, so I just have it on a piece of paper. It's dry. Once you put it down on your substrate, which your journal page, canvas, or whatever, you take that delicious Mod Podge mat and you slap it on here. A couple coats. I need to drink water. I'm sorry. You slap it on there. A couple coats. And you let it dry overnight. And you get this hard nice thing okay so what i'm going to do is i will probably just uh glue this down i'll cut it a bit more just to show you the texture um and this is you know this is just an idea to play around with something that if you don't have you know maybe modeling paste or texture paste maybe you want some in your some texture you don't have to make a heart you could just put it on your page and dry it douse it in the um mod podge and you're good to go okay so I want to do lighter backgrounds. It's already gessoed. I did gesso it with um, folk art because the pages are shiny and the color is not going to stick as well. And I kind of want to block out some of the picture in the background. Now, like for instance, on here, if you're using the catalog or magazine or whatever, um, and you can get this Faber-Castell one off of uh, their website, you get a free... Um, book and this is delicious i could i i just love everything in it but if you're going to do this you don't have to necessarily just so heavy over the color because that's going to poke through and it's going to be fantastic but you could just so you know kind of all around it. okay so first let's figure out what color we're going to do in the back and i'm going to try not to go with my normal colors i know i'm always doing the normal colors my same colors um, let's see, let's start, I mean, there's not, there's so many on there, so many will come yellow. Let's do a nice yellow. Let's do a yellow, come here, you, a, uh, yellow, yellow, yellow. What color are you? jean I don't know. Yellow. It's light yellow. <laughs> I'm just going to give it a little shake. 
Now you can do one of two things here. You can sponge it on. You can use a roly poly, you can use a sponge, you can use your fingers, you can use paper towel, you can paint it on. We are going to sponge it with a paper towel. I'm going to try to try to use <clears throat> oh that's pretty. Excuse me. Okay. I'm going to try to use some things that you have at home, you know, that maybe if you're just starting out, you don't feel so overwhelmed with, oh my gosh, I don't have that. I can't do it. Yes, you can. Um, so all I have is some paper toweling, right? Make sure it's dry. You know, you don't have no other paint on there. If you do, it doesn't matter. And I am going to go in. Now I will tell you this, <clears throat> if you're frugal, like I like to be, you can add a little bit of water and I'll show you what I mean. So this is what you would do. Okay. We're just <clears throat> very lightly. I, oh, <clears throat> Sorry, my throat. It's so annoying. And you're going to get me sniffing, which don't bother leaving me the comments about it. It's just the way of the world. Okay, see how we're doing? And you can see this keeps sticking and like that little doopy thing keeps coming out. Don't worry about it. Just pick it up again and go to town. Okay, now you can see how we have it over there. Now you can see some places are a little thick. Maybe I should move it a little bit more. Um, you can see, you know, like a little thick, it's all right. You go back in and just do your thing. Here's the great thing. If you do this and you're like, I don't like it, or I want it to be more, um, you know, things more covered underneath, put more paint down or use your brush. It doesn't matter. Now you can, I'm really digging this. I like the lightness of it, but I'm just going to show you a little corner. If you want it to be more coverage, you can wet it. And what will happen is you'll get lighter areas and darker areas, obviously, and it definitely will cover a bit more. You know, you just keep spraying up and you're doing, you know, your thing. I also got asked about this. Some of you, this is bothering. <laughs> it doesn't really bother me too much. Um, but obviously, you know, you can do the whole spread. You don't, I just do it to the side, but you know, you definitely can do that. That's not a problem. Um, it doesn't bother me though. And you can always just take your brush and kind of, whoopie whoop in there. So I'm going to dry this. This will dry very quickly, obviously, because you don't have too much. If you don't have a hair, uh, if you don't have a heat gun, use your hair dryer. If you don't have a hair dryer, go to your local thrift store, Goodwill, uh, St. Vincent, Vincent de Paul. Uh, you can get hair dryers for a dollar or two, and they work fantastically but honestly you can see this dries so fast because we're not really um you see that we're not really uh it's good the water you know we're not really um saturating it if i don't walk around with paint on my hands then who am i all right so i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna take some mod podge mat you can use glue stick you can use um double-sided tape you can use whatever you have. Don't think, oh, I have to use this and that. No, you don't. I'm going to do this down in the corner. And all I'm going to do is throw my Mod Podge glue. White school glue works fantastically. And with the kids going back to school now, you can um, oh, find white school glue, clear, all that stuff. So inexpensively at your local staples office max office depot walmart you know what i'm saying i'm sure even the craft stores have it i haven't i have not been to a craft store in months and months so i don't know what they have okay i stay away because i just don't have the money all right and you can see i'm just tap tap tapping it so it makes sure that it connects and i'm also doing a little bit over the top of the Mod Podge and when you do it you have to say a little bit like that and then just make sure it kind of sticks no big deal we're good there okay so now I'm going to work on a little bit of texture on the background you can use acrylic paint you just put a little bit down your stamp you can brush it on your stamp I'm going to do two different techniques excuse my arm that's attractive um i'm kind of staying i think i might do the fossilized amber don't even ask me okay or do i want below i don't know 
no, excuse me. All right, so first what I'm gonna do is take a color and I'm gonna show you how we can use our paint on our stamp. Now, obviously you can use them on stencils, so I'm just gonna move these out the way for a minute. And I'm gonna move this out the way because I need that. And, okay. What color, what color, what color? Do I have a darker, like a mustard color? Have to. You have to. Hmm. What about, what are you? I'm kind of digging this color. Hmm. This is called light timberline green. Look at that. Yeah, let's try it. This is an awesome color. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to just give a little bit right there. I'm going to lay this here so you can see it. I'm going to take a bigger brush, but look, use what you have. And I'm not talking big. I'm just talking, you know, a little wider than the smaller brush. I'm going in dry. Don't, you don't want it wet. If your brush happens to be wet, just do your little dab and on like, you know, like on your paper towel. And I'm going in and I'm going to go off, go in, go off, turn my brush. Cause I want it because <laughs> my hands are working so well. And then I'm just going in and lightly going over it. I'm holding it this way because I don't want so much pressure for me. That's how it works due to the hand issues I have, but for you do whatever works. You just want it light. You don't want to push it down too hard. Again, use whatever color you want. And I'm not going to worry. I don't want a perfect stamp because um, it's going to be a layer, you know. All right. I have a tendency to always go around. <laughs> this is me. I always go around the sides and tend to forget the middle. So I like the last thing I do is to go up and down like that. And let's put you there. I'm going to take this. I'm going to lay it here. And I'm going to push and push and push. Okay, just try to, you don't have to worry too much. We're just trying to get some of the design off. Yeah, look at that. That's per okay. That's perfect. That's with paint. I might just continue on with this. I think I might. I'm kind of, kind of digging it. I think I'm gonna. If you want it even like lighter or more dispersed, you can spray either a little bit of water on your paint or on your stamp. Totally up to you. And you see how that came out a little bit lighter and I'm just going to tap it here. Yeah. And then I'm going to do one more up there. Not too much. I'm just going to kind of do that. You want to watch because if I go to spray this, show you what happens and it's going to be nice it's going to be nice it's going to and you want to make sure this is dry though so it doesn't get muddy but i'm going to just kind of do that you can see it, it's really pretty it's really beautiful but the more the water drips down from the plastic on the you know like on the thing it could get a little bit puddly it's not it's working good you see what i'm doing and I'm good. And I'm going to go around this heart just because I don't necessarily want it to um, look like he's not a friend of the page. All right. Okay. So much fun. All right. When you use acrylic paint, though, I'm going to tell you, make sure that you uh, wipe your stencil or your stamp off because it can dry and you won't get that same clean um, print, you know. Being a mixed media artist, it doesn't bother me too much. I do try to, you know, do that, but sometimes I forget. But just spray water on it while you're finishing your page or whatever, and then you can get up at the end and make sure that you paint it. Or, I mean, clean it up. Ooh, five row frog today. Mm. 
I like that. I really like that. Yes, I really like that. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to clean my brushes off. Give them a little patty pat, a little dabby down. Sit there. I want to touch. Don't be afraid to get dirty. I mean, if you're if you're doing this with your kids or your grandkids or whomever, or you're teaching a friend even, you want to walk away with paint on your hands. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It comes off really easily. It's not acrylic paint is fantastic. And look, I use folk art. I'm using this uh, ceram coat, Martha Stewart. I know that you guys have seen my hands when I'm done with dark, I mean, and my nails, everything. And I get in the shower or in the, uh, you know, when I wash them in the sink and it just, you just wash them, it comes off. It's not a big deal. It's much more, uh, it's much fun, much more funner. What word do I want to say? Um, to play and not worry. You know what I'm saying? All right. So I'm going to pull a darker yellow to dab around. And I'm going to start down here and we're going to do like a dry, um, excuse my arm, a drier brush. And this color is, let me just open it. Lemon custard. Oh, that's Emily's boyfriend's favorite. He loves the lemon custard. The paints I'm using is named Lemon Custard. I said, that's your boyfriend, Sonny's favorite. All right. So I'm going to do a little squirt there. After you give it a little shake, you know, I like to shake it because when I don't shake it, I end up with issues. Now i got to, you know, it's dry, right? I'm just testing it out. I want to go both sides and then I want to kind of just go both sides. Now, here's a great thing if you have another art journal or maybe, like I always tell you guys, have a piece of printer paper, mixed media tablet, uh, drawing, tracing, um, watercolor, whatever you have next to you. So, you know, you can even put the yellow on there and that's where you go. And then when we're dabbing off, you know what I'm saying? It goes onto those pages. So you're not wasting because I hate wasting and you're starting another mixed media background. Okay. So I'm going to go down here because I want this to be covered. Now granted, you might have to put a couple coats. If you, my paper towel was not white. It obviously had color in it. It had like, um, what the heck does it have in it? Some sort of structure, yeah. You see how it has like this blue line and of course that's where I pulled from. Not the end of the world, use what you have. But I always tell you guys, go to the dollar store. You can get like two paper towels for a dollar, throw them just for your art, uh, or use one in your art room, one in your kitchen, whatever floats your boat. And then you have them and you can use them in so many, you know, I, I use these, I save them, I use them, and then I glue them down as, you know, your fabric sheets. So many things you can use. Okay. We're just going to do like that. And now I'm going to take it and I want it to be clummy, clumpy or running. And I'm just going to kind of very hold on to the top of it. This is where I'll run it down here a little bit. I don't want to cover up all that yellow. I like the, I like the outside I'm gonna need a little bit more to be a little darker, almost like a frame. If you're, you know what I'm saying? If you're picking up what I'm putting down. All right, here we go. I just like the way it frames. It's only the taddest bit darker. Okay. But it, to me, it just, I don't know. I like it. I would also do gray or blue. I mean, it's all up to you. Okay. And just clean your brush off like in an X. So you're just bringing that in. Now, if you're not happy with that, you want another coat. You've got to let it dry first. You put on more yellow. I'm okay with that. I'm not going to, it's not bothering me. I am going to give this a little bit of a dry with my heat gun. I'm going to wipe this up because I am known for <laughs> dipping my hand and arm and everything. I'm going to clean my brush and then dry just because I like to have, I don't always do this, but I like to have my brushes clean because these are my go-tos lately. 
this is a Martha Stewart 10 and it's just a flat. I love it. It's one of my favorites. And this I just found. This I have no idea. It is an eight protege. I don't know. I think this came, somebody, uh, a company sent these to me to uh, try out and I did. And I've been down in my art room yesterday and brought all my paintbrushes up, a majority of them. And I'm going through them and I'm finding ones that I didn't know that I had. So I've been playing and that's that. But I mean, honestly, use you can use a sponge brush, right? It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Matter of fact, let me show you. I'm going to be doing a video. I'm going to be making this into something. Um, I ruined my good paintbrush because I forgot to. This is a flat uh, one and a half. And these are like my favorite. I have a couple of these, but... I think I glued them shut. I'm going to try them in hot water to see if it comes undone. Otherwise, he's going to be into a piece of art. <laughs> so, all right. Before I do any more of the background, I want to decide, I think, I think I'm going to have to cut them and then decide what, which one I like. Remember, use your watercolor paints, use your Crayola, everything's on sale. Use Crayola watercolors. They're good. They're not bad. You know, and I know there's another brand. I can't recall the name, but I know like AC Moore, I think, sells Nicole. And you can buy them in the tubes. You don't have to buy them, you know, anything too fancy. You can get them in the tubes. You can get them already in a, in a cake kind of form. And use those as a background. Okay. Well, let's see which one. And see, I like the way that green is kind of pulling that out, the brownie, the brown kind of, you know. So I want that one or this one. I I'm kind of digging the bigger one. So that's what we're going to put down. Now I can see there's a little bit left of white. I'm going to do something to the edges anyway. I'm not worrying if these are spot on or not. Now let me show you. I got this from Graphic Fairies. Like I said, I am not getting paid or anything for this. I just like their site. And you can see there's like some pink in there. So I'm probably, see the pink? I'm going to probably put some pink feathers around or something to kind of bring that part out. But I'm not, you know, this is what I'm going to do. Now... I'm going to use my glue stick and I'm just going to use my uh, disappearing Avery glue stick. And I'm going to put, and this is just for like quickness. Normally I would probably use Mod Podge, but I know that you can get uh, glue sticks at the dollar store and they're on sale now as well. And I know a lot of you, you know, don't have Mod Podge and, you know, you get frustrated because I use a, you know what I mean? And I get it. If I didn't have the products, I'd be, you know, I wouldn't be happy either. Always watch, you know, watching somebody else use it. So use your glue stick or white school glue. And you just want to push it down. You want to make sure, you know, it has contact. Okay. Very nice, so very nice. All right, Those there. Now save this for an ATC, you know? We could put this on an ATC, we could, well that might be a little too big, I don't know. Um, but I'll do something with this, so we're not gonna worry about that right now. Now I'm gonna take these feathers. I don't know what brand these are, please do not hate on me. Um, because what I like to do when there comes stencils on a big, sheet I like to cut them so they're easier for me to use and I can pick the ones I want to use so hmm. okay I don't want that one thinking about this one what that one this one maybe this one maybe that looks like an Easter egg not into it okay
So I want to add this kind of like a border where it kind of goes off. And then maybe, and you don't have to put the whole, you know, you just put whatever. So it kind of comes in. All right, let me try that. Let me grab pink. The pink, pink, pink. This is, I don't want neon. You know what neon is? No neon. Here we go. I apparently have a lot of neon. Let's do, how can be too dark? Pink melon is going to be too dark. What do I do with my pink? I have a million pinks. What happened to them? I don't know. I guess I'm going to have to improvise. Gosh darn it. Make that the glitter one. Oh, that was a baby pink. Baby pink will work. Okay. So I'm going to shake it. I'm going to just squeeze it. Not going to need too much. I'm going to show you two things. First, we're going to do the paints and I'm just going to do a little bit. I don't, I don't need so much, you know, what am I going to use? Let's use a makeup sponge. Excuse me. Excuse my hands. Excuse my hands. Excuse my hands. Thank you. Get these at the dollar store. Very cheap, very easy. That's what I like. So I'm going in and then I'm going to tap off and then I'm just kind of going in. I'm not going to go all the way onto that, but I am going to, I just want a lighter, you know, and look, I, what I was going to do if I couldn't find the pink was I was just going to mix whatever pink I had with the white. So to get a color that I wanted. Okay. You see just a little bit. It's just bringing some in there. I might even take some of this and brush it on this heart. Yeah. Yep. And then I'll do that one more time when I'm done and then I'll hold it up. But you see, so I'm going to lay that over there and I could have went with a darker one. It wouldn't have hurt anything. I'm going to put this down here and I'm going to try to, Okay. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. Not hating it. Not hating it. But I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little darker pink in there. <laughs> After I just complained that whole time. Oh, Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. I'm going to put in a little fuchsia. Just a, just a squirt will do you. All of a squirt now and then. There we go. Tapping it in, and then I'm going to tap it off a bit. And let's see if this shows up a bit better. I just dig the fl I just dig it. I just dig the, you know what I'm going to do? Let me see if I can line this up. Oh, dear Kelly. Why are you going to do that? You're going to mess it up, girl. Okay. Let's just see. Okay that and like that let's see I don't know we're going for it I just want some of the pink in there the darker pink what'd you do what'd you do oh my gosh my hands okay all right it kind of mama ma did up but that's okay I'm gonna not do that to the other one <laughs> though but I mean it's okay it did you know it kind of went over it all right it's okay now you can see that some of that pink, and all I'm going to do is kind of rub it out. I'm not worried about it. It's just going to blend in with these pinks. And I'm going to take some more of this darker pink and just run it across that heart. Okay. And now I like this one a lot, but I want that. I like this. So I'm going to try to stay on this side and not go. Too much on the paper. Okay. 
Let's see how we did. Yeah. You see? I like it. I like it. So, let's see here. Oh, I could sit and play all day. I'm not going to keep you too much longer. I'm going to do imagine, I think, or believe. Let's do imagine. And I'm going to take these hearts, which I love these hearts. I don't know where I got them. They're wicked old, but you can see there's no sticker on them. And I'm just going to tap and tap this on. Again, if you have an ink pad, by all means, you use what you have. I'm just trying to keep it as, you know, as simple as I can with only a few things. And I think I'm going to do Imagine down here. So I'm just going to kind of go with the pink. Shoot, I'll just do this. And put some of the parts wherever you want. You don't have to do exactly as what I'm doing. You can draw the hearts if you want. That's fun. Use your watercolor uh, crayons or whatever and draw and then kind of watercolor them out. Okay. I think you get, you're catching my drift. Okay. So I do want to wipe that off because I'll really enjoy these. Okay. Oh, okay. Not hating. Not hating. Imagine though, I'm going to do in a darker, excuse my arm again. I think I might do it in black soot because I haven't tried that one yet. I don't think on a page. Excuse me. She looks cute though. Okay. I'm going to take it. I would love these distress oxides. I just wish that they had like, um, who is it? Memento or stays on has like the plastic cover. You know what I mean? But who am I? I'm nobody. If I ever make my own, I want plastic covers on there. I just think it helps them not dry out as much. Now I got a little bit on that plastic, so I'm going to wipe it off, but you don't have to. You can use any kind of stamps. These I got in a kid's section. And I'm just not lining it up. I'm just giving it a push. Woo, look at that. Now I have this. I can just go and pop off anywhere, you know, just to add, just so I don't lose that. Uh, but you can see it. Look at that, how it smears on the glossy. It'll just add. Oh, those really go good long time, those inks. That's good to know. But I got that. And I'm going to hit this. That came out black. That is awesome. Now what I want to do is I want to take, I think I'm going to take, and you can use any color that you're using. I'm going to take some of this. I have some of it on the lid there, as you can see. I think I'm going to take, well, I am. I'm going to wet my brush, kind of dab it off. I'm going to take some of this and just kind of Run it along, gonna wet it so it's not so oh, that's saturated into the paper. Maybe it wasn't the brightest idea, Kel, but that's alright. I'll wipe it. I just like that little bit of a bridge. Or you know, like frame. You see what I'm saying? It kind of makes it pop out. And, and like I said, this will dry. Then you can go over it or do, you know, use a marker if you have it. It doesn't, you don't necessarily have to do this. But the other thing that I probably would do is I would take, because I'm just on psychotic, I guess. And you don't have to use black. You can use whatever color you want. I would probably go and just kind of go over that page. Can you see that sticking out a little bit? How it just kind of, you could do it down here as well. Just run it across. And it just gives you a little bit more of an aged look. 
you know you don't have to almost makes it look like a picture frame in a way and i i kind of dig that but you don't have to you can do do whatever you like but that's kind of all i'm gonna do and that's a very simple uh mixed media page that's very beginner intermediate friendly how's that i didn't do a lot but we have the main uh yellow color is a layer we have the cherry blossom that we did the brown stamp that's layer two we have the darker yellow shade that we did in lemon custard that is the le uh level that is <laughs> layer three Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. we then have our uh pink feathers we have her and then we have our little hearts and stamp do you see what i'm saying so we're like five six layers in mixed media at its finest you know it's not as busy as the other one you get to see you know the background coming through and um i'm gonna play with this for a minute the black background coming through and all this just delicious texture and i i just love it and to me i love grunge and i love i would probably even tear the pages uh if it was me but today i'm not gonna i just like grunge i love that it, you can make it look aged you know and then i'll just go in with my rag just to take off some of the other extra you know and like i said you can go back in and you know play with your texture you could paint over it you can do whatever you want it just adds something there i would probably put a little rhinestone in there and you're done so i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope this kind of helped you guys out where um you know some of you were worried or, or didn't really care for the other one because you thought it was too advanced so i wanted to do something that's you know kind of not too advanced but not exactly um a beginner as well and like i said this is gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous i would uh, let me just tell you what else i would do for those of you who might want to kick it up a notch what I would love to do is I would love to go in and either take a dark pink or a brown or something um, and outline each of these feathers, uh, you know, like the individual parts of it might be something I might do. Uh, I would add some glitter. Uh, I would go in and add some pink glitter just to make her like crown shine a little bit and her jewels, you know, like a clear glitter and, you know, just kind of do that. That would be absolutely beautiful. So for those of you who like, you know you want to do this but you want to do a little bit more i mean glitter and rhinestones and all that stuff makes and oh all that stuff glitter glue so much fun so if you enjoyed this video please leave me a thumbs up it lets me know that you guys enjoy these kind of videos this is a little bit longer uh but i've been trying to do you know mix in shorter and longer for everybody um like i said we're doing progress not perfection this is all about having fun. Yours does not have to look like mine. Um, you know, it's just about having fun. You might only have one stamp that you might want to use or one stencil. It's okay. I have a lot of video, a lot of uh, giveaways coming up. So keep watching and, um, you know, just leave me a thumbs up, share me everywhere. It helps me out. And, um, I just love you guys. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I will see you guys in my next video and to have a fantastic day, guys. Bye.